Okay, I took the motor and I'm trying to use utilize all three phases. So I got three bridge rectifiers hooked up. It looks like a bundle of spaghetti right now, but this is what it is right here. Then were my three phases. What I've done, I've got all the positives hooked up together on the bridge rectifier and all the negatives. And I got it going to that white lead and that green lead to give me the power. So I'm getting DC voltage. Okay, I'm a, my son's going to start the drill up. Go ahead. So that's, that's DC power. I'm going to hook the, the meter to it. All right, I got that. I've got it on DC voltage. All right, go ahead. Two hundred and sixteen volts DC. Okay, also, um, I got the meter hooked up. With a, uh, 100 watt 120 volt bulb go ahead showing 133 volt and uh let off lights the room up pretty good go ahead. on a side note I've got these two grounded together and you can bet it's all you can do to turn it because the the eddy currents in it. When they're separated, it turns real easy. Now what I wanted to show you is charging up a capacitor. My dog wants inside. Charging up a capacitor. Um. It don't have no drag as long as you're not um, using the current I'm saying that because I'm working on a, a pulse motor with one single pulse I'm wanting to charge this capacitor to try to actually uh, push a magnet through a through the gate, so.